What is going on? It's Dean here. Pfft, cool intro. All right, so here's what I'm thinking, right? Is um, as of late, the business has not been growing where it needs to be, and I've not been growing the way I need to be. So I've been looking at this going like, what the heck is happening here? And I realized, um, you know, like I always do, I have these very profound, stupid realizations, if you want to call them that, and realize that I'm, I'm not uh, putting my time into the right things. I'm not doing the right things with my time. Um, you know, I, I do tend to work a lot. I'm at the office a lot, but I'm not doing the right things with my day because if I was, we'd be 10 times bigger than we are now. And I'm pissed off about it at myself because I'm not sleeping how I need to sleep. I'm not eating how I need to eat. I'm not working out every day like I need to work out. And I'm not working how I need to work. And I'm not, you know, planning and prioritizing like I need to. Um, and I've talked about the lever the activities I need to do and the leverage associated with those. And I just need to do them. Um, and it's, I literally have zero things in my life to do other than work right now. So I don't know what the freak is happening, but uh, we're deleting all of the social medias off of the phone because I don't think that takes up a massive chunk of my time, but it does take up some of it being on my phone. Um, so I'm just gonna have to start uploading these from my computer, no big deal. Um, and I'm going to really start auditing my time on a daily basis like I'm an employee because now I'm getting paid like an employee should. If I'm gonna paid like an employee, I'm gonna be, me I'm gonna be measuring myself like an employee. So I gotta get my stuff act together. I think, you know, there's a lot to be said about it. I'm gonna start doing a lot of different things as far as just personally to make sure that I'm in the the optimal condition to do, you know, the best stuff at business possible. And it's all about le it's all about leverage and opportunities. And if you think that co coincides with the video Alex Ramosi posted, it, that you're completely correct because I just watched that video. But um, that's not where this came from. This has been a long time coming, and I've been getting angry and angrier, angrier and angrier about you know the situation I'm in and how I I don't feel like it's like oh I feel stuck. Like no, I don't feel stuck. Like, I feel like I'm not working hard enough and I'm not pushing to what I need to push and I'm not, so we're staying at the same spot. That's what that means, is I'm sitting here going, oh, we're in a seasonal business, it's seasonal, we grow, we shrink, blah, blah, blah. No, shut up, Dean. You can grow the company at all the times of the year. You get a massive freaking winter portfolio and do a crap load of snow, buy a ton of equipment if I wanted to, if I had the freaking brain and work ethic, if you will. I'm, I'm working, but I'm not doing the work ethic and it needs to happen to be able to do that. So that's where I'm at. That's why I'm freaking pissed because we should, we should have another, we should have another three trucks right now. We should have a ton more team members. We should have more people in the office. We should be freaking scaling, but because I'm not putting the effort I need to put into freaking marketing, we're not actually growing that we, we need to grow. And it's, it's annoying because I'm by myself because I'm the only person that's responsible for freaking marketing the company. So since I'm the only person responsible for marketing, guess who needs to do their job better? I do. Guess who needs to get better at their job? I do. Guess who needs to read more, bo more books on the job? I do. Guess who doesn't need to watch any more freaking YouTube videos about anything? right? Unless it's maybe a Sunday. I don't know. Me, me. So I got to fix that. I got to figure out how to be, not figure out. I got to continue to be a better leader and a better culture. Like I'm just sitting here thinking, what the heck is leading with X culture? No, the, the other beautiful Hermosism, if you want to call them that, whatever. Hermosi uh, framework is it's all the difference between sucking and being great. That's the job of a freaking leader. Like a, the, a, the, from the worst leader ever to the best leader possible, that's the difference. And for culture, the highest productivity is what we're looking for in the culture. I don't care. Like I care about people's feelings as long as it makes them more productive. Not because I'm an evil person, but it's because the whole point of a freaking enterprise. If our team is all touchy-feely, everybody loves each other, we go out of business, who helped anybody? None of us. So we need to get, I need to get my stuff together. I'm not saying our team's too touchy-feely or too, the other, too hard ass to make it bad. But the whole goal is high performance, right? I've got a great report, pretty much everyone in the team. I really like everybody on our team and I just need to make be responsible for the results. Level three of leadership and John Maxwell's levels of leadership. Need to be responsible for high performance roles. We've been stuck. Everybody freaking in the whole company feels and I didn't realize we're stuck till now, which is, mm. so yeah, you, um, you, hopefully I'm gonna try to continue to post frequently. But I gotta get my stuff, get my stuff together. We're getting my our stuff together he, here at Full Circle. We're gonna have a killer fall, and it's absolutely be bonkers. Sorry, a phone call came in and I got messed up. But it's gonna be absolutely bonkers. And if you guys want to see that, subscribe. If not, it's fine. You can join in in a couple of years when everybody's like, "How this guy gets so big?" This is a freaking video. How he gets so big? Right now, it's a decision. That's it. One decision on a random freaking Wednesday night. And it's not like I made this decision months, like years ago, but like one little turning point to shift from going here to going here and in years, you know, or, you know, from whatever going here to going here in years, it's a lot different. So I look forward to, you know, getting these habits in place the way they need to be and just, you know, doing, performing the habits of a self-made billionaire because we'll get there someday. So thanks for tuning in. See you in the next one.